Hello, this is Ron VK2DQ and this is the first tutorial for the practical amateur radio assessment. In these tutorials I'm going to be taking you through a walkthrough of your practical assessment. You'll also find drill software associated with these tutorials that will test you on the knowledge you need to know to pass your practical assessment. Let's have a look at the assessment document itself. This slide is of the actual practical assessment document that you'll be assessed with during your exam. It's called Form 4 it's available from the Radio and Electronic School website. Um, it's also available from the Wireless Institute of Australia website as well. What's important is, is what this document means in terms of your assessment. There are altogether 20 elements of competency and they're written in the left hand column so competency, competency 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on right through to competency 20. Now you should download and print this document for yourself. You should also download and print the LCD and if you're watching this video on a DVD or a CD-ROM, you'll find a document folder and in that document folder you will find the practical assessment check sheet and you'll also find the LCD. Uh, I would suggest you print both of them. Let's have a look at the practical assessment sheet. On, it has four columns. The first column, and they're numbered, and there are 20 of them, so there are 20 elements of competency. These are the things on the left-hand side, they're bolded as well, that you have to demonstrate to an assessor that you are competent in. And they go 1 to 20. I'll just do a quick slide down and they go all the way to 20. Now what we're going to be doing in these tutorials is going through each one of those elements of competency and showing you diagrams and explaining to you what you need to do to be considered competent in each element of competency. The middle column shows the method that the assessor may use to test you. For example, the identification of common cable types, the method the assessor may use is using physical examples, that's real cables, or photographs or diagrams of common coaxial and parallel transmission lines provided to the candidate. So he's either going to show you photographs, he's only going to, either going to show you real photos or drawings and ask you to identify common coaxial and parallel line types. And on the right hand column is the performance criteria. This is your performance. This is what you need to do. Identify correctly three types of transmission line as coaxial or parallel line. Codes, example RG58, are not required. So all you really need to do is identify whether it's coaxial cable or parallel line. That's so important because this is what you're being tested on the, the the third column this is this is sorry the third column is your performance what you're expected to do the middle column is the methods by which the assessor can test you and the first column is the element of competency being tested in these tutorials they should be fairly short we're going to be going through each one of the elements of competency 1 to 20 and we'll also be providing you with some drill software to test yourself on the tutorial as well.
If you're watching these tutorials on a DVD or CD from the Radio Electronics School, you'll find a document folder, and in that document folder you'll find a number of things, uh, one of which will be a copy of the practical assessment check sheet that I just showed you, and also will be the uh, LCD, the regulations uh, from ACMA is in, in there as well. But if you if you want the latest ones, you can get them from the ACMA website, which is a bit of a minefield, um, or the WIA website, or you can go to the Radio and Electronics School website and click on Supplementary, and up the top, you'll find a whole lot of things to download, <clears throat> but up the top is the Amateur Radio Practical Assessment, and you can download that. You can open it online by clicking Download, or you can just right-click and Save save link as and while you're at it you might as well download the if, if, depending on what you're doing uh, advanced standard or foundation you, you may as well download the syllabus if you don't have it of course if you've passed your your theory um, exams uh, a lot of the syllabus won't be pertaining to you but certainly uh, you will need the LCD uh, if you are doing your uh, standard or advanced or foundation and, and you've not yet done your practical, you will need a copy of the LCD printed to take with you to the assessment if you're smart. And that's where you can get the practical assessment. And shortly we're going to go through each of the elements of competency 1 to 20 for the practical assessment.